Okay. We practiced outside. It was windy. Like, Thursday was as windy as it was today. Now, we didn't have the rain, but so those two days, just watching him in the elements, um, throw it like he was, like, we'll be fine. Um, and, and so we just, we trust the heck out of him, you know, and, uh, and you know, it worked out good for us. I hate it when you guys do that. <laughs> you know, it's like somebody just, just finds that. something, then all of a sudden, what happens when it's incomplete? And I'm like, ah. Oh. Just that connection that goes. You just keep that to yourself. <laughs> yeah, the connection between those two, so it, it's special. Those yeah. two have been clicking now for four years, really three and a half. You know, it started about halfway through that 21 season, and it's just, it's built from there. And, uh, you know, if, if you're a quarterback, uh, we got a dang good one, but it's easy to throw to a guy like St. Brown because um, he gets open and uh, he's got body control balance. He can separate. He's got quickness. He's got play speed, um, strong hands, and his body demeanor tells you, man, if I'm a quarterback, you you got a real good idea of what he's doing. And they've done it long enough to where they, they can think without speaking. So, you know, they know each other's what they're getting ready to do and, and – and all that, so it, it's it's special, and uh, you know they make each other better. Yeah, look, AG. It's one of the things we talk talk about. There's an emphasis to it, and certainly you got to be able to take away the run game. Um, and then once you get down there in tighter quarters, man, it's about helping each other out. You play a little bit of man. You got to be able to cut and help, and the next guy's got to replace, which takes away the window the quarterback may think he's getting. So, uh, we've been pretty good about that. We, we've we put a lot of work into that, um, and so we're 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 doing a good job of limiting those points. You know, we're keeping people from getting seven back there. And uh, look, that was that was one of the biggest differences in the game, man. We you know we didn't allow them to to score down there because you're right, they got down there three different times. So, it's a great job by a number. Number of guys uh, across the board. Well, it's the last one. First time you guys have played a game in these types of conditions this year. How valuable is it to, to kind of keep winning under new circumstances? Yeah, anytime you win, you learn something from it, and you get better at winning. You know, you learn, and uh, you know the hard thing is about winning. You learn those things. You got to continue to learn, but but you you can't brush over the. The things that you're not doing well. Just because you got to win, you got to make sure that you know we're identifying those things. We got to get cleaned up because we'll get exposed. And there's there's things all over this tape. I mean, there's things that you know we we got to clean up in a hurry um, across the board. And we will, you know, we will. But um, but I, I know this. I'm not shocked one bit that we came out of here and played pretty good football out in the elements. I just that we're built for this, man. And it doesn't matter. And just because we play indoors, it doesn't matter. I mean, we we can play anywhere. We can play in the snow. We can play in the rain. We can play in the mud. Um, that's just us. And we're we we're built to win, man. Thank you guys. Love Jared and All right.